What do you remember from blacking out on the final snap of your career? I just remember when I got, there was no pain. Um, guy pushed me. We were playing at the University of Minnesota, playing in Chicago, harmless. You know, I'd love to, to say that the guy hit me hard, but it, it was just a push, and the field was solid ice almost, hard, cold. Threw a little swing route to the left. The guy pushed me, and I just kind of slipped and lost my footing, and I fell over and hit, hit, just hit the left side of my head, which I, that's probably been done thousands of times. And the next thing that I remember, I was snoring. Our trainer had came out on the field, Eric Sugarman, we call him Shug, and he's like, hey, buddy, you all right? I was kind of laying on my f stomach, with my head on the, turned to, to my right a little bit, and I was snoring. I was taking a good nap. And, and I, he says, you all right? And I said, hey, I was snoring. It's kind of like he woke me up. And he said, I know, buddy, you had a concussion. And I thought, no pain, nothing. It was just, in fact, I kind of warmed up a little bit. I was freezing before then. And I got up and I kind of looked over and I said, what are a couple of bears, Erlacher and Lance Briggs, a few of those guys were clapping. I said, what are they doing here? And I think I took one step towards the, the bear sideline and Shook said, oh, come over here with me, buddy. And went straight to the sideline. And I said, let's go on into the locker room. I fig figured after 20 years, I, I should be able to say what I want to do. Went right in, took a shower, put my street clothes on, got a jacket, got a hot chocolate and a chili dog. And I never looked back, never missed it since. How many concussions do you think you got during your career? Here's the, here where the problem to me lies. Uh, not that it really matters at this point. Uh, what's done is done. But what is technically, or scientifically, or, or medically a concussion? We know when you, see, when you see a guy or a boxer, for example, get knocked out, that's a concussion. But what about when you get hit and like in football, a lot of times you don't, you don't know it. I, even I'm watching now and I, I may, can, I may, I say, I, I think he might, to myself, he may have had a concussion. You'll see a guy get up and it's when, you know, bells are ringing a little bit or, you, you know, like flash bulbs are going off and that's stuff that people don't see. You see when someone's out cold and they get up and they, they don't know what sideline to go to. That's easy. I guess my point is of the true, he's got a concussion where the outside looking in knows two, three, maybe, maybe. But what about the ones that I got up? ran the next play. You never thought anything of it, but you know, the old saying, bell was ringing. Endless, endless, uh, uh, no telling. And my understanding, as we, we find out more about those, the toll of those may be even greater than the, the big ones. Um, but again, there's nothing you can do about it. How concerned are you about the long-term side effects? It, you know, only playing? when I do interviews like this. Okay. Uh, when us you. dumb media types you know, bring it up. I, I jokingly said, but, but that is partly, there's really not a whole lot I can do. Worrying as I tell, or we tell our youngest daughter all the time, no sense in worrying about something you can't control. R right now, you know, there's no sense in worrying. I mean, I, I feel, I, don't, I can't say I feel normal. I don't know what normal, but I feel pretty good mentally and physically. And so, uh, across that bridge when we get to it.